Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I just thought I'd do a very quick flick through of the very large junk journal that I've recently made. So I made this during two Facebook Lives. So there won't be a tutorial on YouTube because it's just too much of a big project. So if you do want to see how I've put together this 19 signature junk journal, then I will link both of the Facebook Lives below. But do kind of bear in mind that the lives that I do, we chat, we um, we have a laugh and things like that. And I make, you know, I make a card or I make boxes, bags or a junk journal, for example, during the live. So, you know, you may have to fast forward sections, but within the first live, you will see how I kind of put this together and then in the second one you'll see me stitching in the well some of the signatures once you've seen how I do one then you, you don't really need to watch the rest of it but it's there if you do or you're interested just to get the sizes for example but this is it here so this is my personal junk journal so this is 1982 which was the year I was born and I have filled this with Lots of bits and pieces that are special to me and mean something to me that I don't want to get rid of. Now the word junk journal, um, you know, it's it's not junk, it's treasure. As somebody said in our group, she said it should be called a treasure journal because you just fill it with those things that are junk to some people but they just have a meaning or it might be a ticket stub, it might be, you know, the receipt for your first date or something. They're things that you kind of not always know where to put them, they just kind of sit in a drawer or sit in an envelope or something. Junk journals are really nice ways to keep them in something and it looks nice as well. So when I say signature, basically a signature is just like a small little notebook. It just, it's just made up of pages. It could be one page folded in half. It could be six, seven, eight, nine. It could be entirely up to you. But mine are six pages and there are 19. So there's a lot of pages in this. I've got this tassel on the side here. This is a picture of me and my friends when we went to Auckland Towers some years ago now and um, I'm tempted to take that photo out though and actually put maybe a photo of myself because this is obviously my album um, and then I'll put that photo in the junk journal itself. I've just got this little dangle, I just made those pom-poms myself, bits of ribbon, some little beads there but I'm gonna I think change the wool here because that will end up probably breaking over time and I'm probably gonna set this with an eyelet as well. Now I haven't filled it with everything because there's some really personal bits that I just don't want to share on YouTube so um, there is more to go in this. I've got more pockets, I've got some more envelopes but they've got addresses and other people's names and photos and I I don't think it's very fair to kind of share all of that on here because there are other, other people obviously in there but what I've got in here at the moment I'm happy to share so I have added this elastic fastening which um, you didn't see me do for those that watched the live and I basically attached the, the elastic and then I put this pom-pom trim over here and um, along this side here this is actually the same kind of fastenings you have on your jeans so if I open up here you'll see there's the back of that piece you just hammer it in so it's a real solid fastening that I've got there which I'm really pleased with so this is how it is so I've used the twinkle book and um, that's for my front and back and then I've used a three mil grey board for the spine and um, you know it just looks like one big book this is actually some um, plastic like picnic tablecloth that I used and it's worked really well so you open it up and I've got this pocket here. This has got my savings account that my nan set up for me many years ago. And um, I've always had it hanging around. And this is a very old autograph book that I've got. And then here it had a girl and her dog. And um, Sam was the dog within this, you know, one of the stories within the book. But someone in the chat said, you know, I should put a photo of myself in there. So this is a photo of my mum holding me upside down, which I just thought was quite funny. And then obviously it's nice. It says Sam. This is just a photo that I've had of myself, but it's just, you know, it was in part of like a collage in a big frame. It fell out some years ago and it just got put in with, you know, bits and bobs. But I've just stuck it inside there. I just thought it was, it's given it a home. And then those pieces just sit there. So I've done this little kind of pocket at the front. And then it kind of starts really. So this here, um, there's a little, that's a little letter from my nan. No, it's not a letter from my nan, sorry. That there is uh, one of her shopping lists. And um, yeah, my nan just does very funny shopping lists because she can never really remember what she's wrote or read what she's wrote. So her <laughs> handwriting, um, yeah, we've had some funny experiences. So there are a few of those throughout because I kind of take them from her when she's not, well, when she's brought everything from the list, I'll then kind of keep it because I just like the memory of that day. 
that's a little ticket that my mum left me when I came to stay once and it was a ticket for me to enjoy her craft room for one visit only <laughs> so that was quite funny so I've kept that and then these here were part of the twinkle book but I really like them and I can journal on the back what I've done is I've actually attached some um this is like your exam revision cards i put one of those on the back so i've got things to fill out this is all plain still for me to be able to attach things to stick things to and write on that there is the original spine from the twinkle book and i've just stuck it on the side there just so yeah i thought i'm not going to waste it now all the bits in here are either pages from the book and other things that i've collected so this is a big this here you can see there's the first page of the signature, here's the back page. So if I open it up, you can kind of make out that whole page, if I just hold that up there. And this was a game, you put, you pieced the pieces together to make that image, but I just thought it was such a nice colourful kind of um, image I wanted to put in here. Now all these playing pages are all ready for me to be able to add more things to and to obviously journal on, which I will be doing, but those kind of things I didn't want to really kind of share, because um, they're my own personal thoughts and memories and stuff. So. Also what I've got here, this is part of my old guidebook, now, no brownie book, now I have two, the original one is in here intact, the other one I've taken apart and used the pages throughout and um, then I've done these little pockets here and these are full of the postcards that my dad sent me when he used to be away in the Navy and um, they've got lovely little kind of notes on the back that he's wrote so I can pull them out from the top and look at them whenever I want. And then I've got lots of letters. I had pen pals um, for many years. There's also letters from my friends from school. There's also letters from my dad when he was away. And my nan used to write to me as well. So I've got all of that in here. I'm not going to flip this over because it's got the address, you know, an address on there. But you can see it's very easy to be able to go in there and take out the letter and read it. Um, and then the other side of that is here for you to attach something else onto. Whether you staple it on or you stick it on, that's another little kind of, you know, attachment there this again here that's another side of this page here so I can attach things to this I could put another envelope on that I could make a pocket I could attach some paper and have a top you know opening pocket and then I got some newspaper clippings that's April 2007 that's me and my friend we were in the paper we were drinking in a bar and then this here is from 1993 and me and my friends are here we were at the very front of the road show, the Radio 1 road show, used to always come to the Plymouth Hoe and we would get up at 5.30 in the morning to get to the front. Okay, I've just sorted out that next page because again it had some things visible, but these are all letters which I've used, a big older envelope here which had nothing in it, it was just amongst everything. So those are just other letters in there. This is a little note from my godparents. These are old bottle tops, like school. Um, you put your straw through the top just nice little page turners so again there's not too much going on there because I've got things just to the kind of off screen that I'm going to be adding to all this this is a photo of me and my sister my mum had uh, quite a few of them you usually get like I don't know four or five this one was always lying around um, but I just thought it, there's lots of space here to journal and it just made a good page so that's me and my sister I think I was about maybe nine eight or nine there yeah because my sister looks about three so three or four yeah, I reckon so. Um, anyway, more pages there. That's the other page there from the guidebook. That's some wrapping paper from one of my presents when I was little. And then again, these are kind of like filler pages. So this is just from a notebook. Um, but it's just got space there for me to add to. This is the picture building. This is the big kind of envelopes. It's all stitched here and here. This is what these bits were in. So these kind of puzzle pages. But at the top here, it's got a nice big pocket. So again, if I've got other bits, well I have, I'll be able to put that all in there. And that's the other part of it. So you can see where they've stitched through the signature there. But I can attach stuff to that now. All of these I can attach more things to. So it's gonna grow over time. And after this video, I'm gonna end up you know, sticking everything else in. This is from the Royal Wedding. It was Charles and Diana. You see the um, initials there. Um, that was the year obviously my mum was pregnant with me um, and they kept it. So um, yeah, it's now made its way to me along the years and I've just thought I'd pop it in here, but I might do something else with that because it's quite nice. So it's just displayed better. More bits and pieces here and then there's an envelope there. I'm gonna flip it over, you can see another pocket. Um, again, more pages. And then I've got these again, which I've just added bits and pieces, that's the arrival of one of my friend's little boys, that's a thank you card from my best friend for being her bridesmaid, um, and then again they're all just more pages, that is my Nan's shortbread recipe, 
Um, I've also got it in my actual recipe book, but that's the original one um, with it all on there. Again, just extra bits to attach things to. That's another one of these big kind of puzzle pages. You can see the other one there, with the big train on it, and the Queen Mary in the background. And then you've got more pages. Yep, so then, yeah, just checking what I've got here. This here is, I've, I'm, I've always been a massive fan of the, of the series Bewitched. And I've had this that my mum got me many years ago now. And it is an old bag. Happy Halloween, Bewitched, weekdays, 4.30 p.m. And then that's the TV station there. Um, so obviously this has come from America. And then on this side, it's got Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, weekdays at 3.30 p.m. And um, yeah, it's just really nice. I was going to put it in a frame and have it up at Halloween time, but I just kind of never really got around to doing it. So... I just like it, I'm going to keep it, so I've popped it in its own little pocket. And then again, on more pages, there's another envelope there with a letter in. I've also got these little pom-pom paper clips, so I can add things to there. There's another one of those little cards. And then here is a big photocopy of a telegram that my nan had on the birth of my mum, I believe it was. So that's on the other side, you'll see that in a moment. But the original's in a frame um, at my nan's. And then more bits and pieces. Then these are all like wedding invites and thank, thank you kind of cards. Things again, I just don't want to get rid of. More wedding invitations. Another envelope with a letter. And then that's the other end here. Yeah, so the book's getting quite, I'm open. It's kind of flat down now, so it's a bit easy for me to open. Um, yeah, there's the other end of that telegram there. And then more letters just kind of paper clipped on here. It's just basically a home for those bits and bobs. Well, thank you, that's my close friend, Catherine. That's her wedding invitations. Or was that the thank you? No, that's the thank you, sorry, from her wedding. And this is all gonna be filled up, but lots of people always say they wanna see them when they're filled. So I'm kind of showing you it partially filmed, filled, but I obviously don't wanna share every single thing on here. Um, it's another letter, thank you letter for a wedding. <laughs> This is another one of those kind of photos of me that had fallen out of a bigger collage. So I just stuck it in that envelope. I was really not happy to wear my school uniform. That was probably first day back after summer holidays or something. But um, yeah, I still got that frown now. <laughs> and then this is a letter from 1996. And that again is from my godparents. More wedding invitations there. Thank yous. Yeah, thank you card. More letters and stuff in here and then again fillers and stuff and then this one here always makes me laugh because me and my sister were bridesmaids and we just clearly were not happy and didn't want to be in it my sister never really liked wearing clothes full stop so that was a really challenging day for her to have to keep the bridesmaid dress on and I just am not particularly this kind of girly girl and uh, yeah it was funny we had these headpieces on I remember mine was giving me a headache and that was probably 1990 early 1990s <laughs> it's just a funny photo to keep that's a letter from my dad along with many more in here and then this is uh, from I went away to a youth hostel with my primary school I think when I was in year six and that is a letter from my auntie that she sent me there um, more pages more postcards from my dad I've doubled them up just so I could get as many in there I've got another letter in here that I can get out and look at um, Another letter from my auntie. It's the cover for the pages that I've used throughout. My name in there, 1989, but the full one is in here, which is 1988, I believe. Again, more car postcards there. Another letter on the back side. So that kind of was part of this bigger signature. No, that is the end of the signature there. So you can kind of see the, you know, the back of the, the actual journal there. I put a playing card in there as well. It's another little you know thing to attach other bits to that's um some paper clippings from my close friend leanne who sadly passed away in 2001 um she was on the front of our local paper so i've kept all of that and then more bits and pieces there again lots you know places for me to fill more wedding invitations that's a pocket at the top there as well for me to add things to and so on so you can kind of see how this is all filled up with bits and bobs i've got another wedding invite that's my friend louise there um, her wedding was announced in the paper 
Um, that one's caught in there. Another letter, more invites, more weddings. I've had lots of weddings. That's my sister's save the date, her wedding. That's my actual like, like main brownie guidebook there. And that was the one from 1988, the date inside. I've given that one its own pocket there. So, you know, I haven't kind of taken that one apart or anything. More letters. That's a little friendship card that my one of my friends gave me, who I'm still friends with. This here is my granddad, and this was a receipt for well, those two things. There's a receipt in there for his car that he purchased, and it was a Morris Minor. Um, yeah. So again, just little. I, I like things like that. More postcards. Yeah, more postcards. Another letter. I've added that bottle piece there to turn the page. And then you've got another big, there's the colour image of that train and the Queen Mary and then the black and white one was earlier on. Again, you can see the Brownie Guide book there. <laughs> There's something to do with record breakers there. I think maybe I was trying to think I'd um, achieved a world record. <laughs> another one of those little cards, that's from my dad. If I open up this, it's a double pocket with all letters in. There's lots of the blueies. Um, if I just do that. Yeah, these are the blueies that my dad would send when he was serving in the Navy. So I've got quite a few of them, so I thought it was a nice place to keep them. And then that just folds over and it all folds up that way. And then um, that address, it doesn't matter. That was somewhere I used to live many years ago. Um, so there's another letter. And then again, bits and bobs. Oh, that's just a funny one from Boxing Day. And then that is part of the book. But again, there's Sam the dog. And I just liked it because it's got my name there. And here I've got all different wristbands from different concerts I've been to, festivals and so on. I've got my Justin Timberlake lanyard there when I saw him in concert in 2005, I believe. Um, so I've kept all that. That's parts of my diary, which... Um, Obviously, I don't know her anymore, but a friend at the time stole my diary and ripped it up, and that was what I managed to salvage. <laughs> more letters, and then all this to fill and do more with. And then the last signature, oh yeah, there's the picture of me and some friends that was on another road show um, some years on from that other one. Um, again, we were right at the very front. We used to all stay at mine, and we would get up very, very early um, to get right to the front. And you can see all the hundreds and thousands of people behind us, so it's always a good day. And then, yeah, the last signature. More tickets from different festivals, concerts and so, so forth. Take that. Will Young. I loved Will Young. Justin Timberlake one's there. I've got all different kind of tickets. There's quite a few in there. And then that's another letter from my nan tickets and so on here and it's always a good one when you sit down sometimes and some you know you say oh when did you go to when did we go to that concert or when did we do that I can literally look in here and get the ticket so it's uh, yeah it's a good one and then that's the back end of this is the big lighthouse on Plymouth Hoe where I live um, so it's a, it's a nice big picture but it was all folded up and stuff and I, ne I wouldn't never put it in a frame today so it's now got a home in here and there you go that's the very end and this again I've got room to be able to add more things too and then I finished it by covering it with the Twinkle 1982 and then it also has the back of the book there Twinkle 1982 special t especially for little girls I just really like the imagery it's all the colours that I like and then the whole thing fastens like so and it looks really nice in my craft room on one of my shelves with my other kind of albums and so on. And um, yeah, I've got room to be able to keep adding to it now. So like I said, I'm going to put the rest of the bits and bobs that I've got in there. And it's just nice to have everything organised and all in this nice album so I can just kind of grab it. Um, and it's a nice kind of little thing to hand down you know, through family with my memories in it. So yeah, hopefully it's just given some inspiration for those that know how to do junk journals and stuff. Um, this is just my version. Um, I know there's lots more I can do with it. And um, I've also protected the corners there with some of the page corner, metal corner protectors. You can tell I'm not used to doing these kind of flick through um, kind of videos, but I know there were a few people in the live that wanted to see this when I had kind of finished it. So here it is, and um, hopefully it's inspired, you know, some of you to make your own. Like I said, I will link the Facebook Live below, and um, you can get the measurements and everything there if you do want to make one. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.